Hello everyone. In this video, we continue exploring the security capabilities of Nuage SD-WAN platform and its virtualized security services feature set. In the first demo, we introduced three building blocks of security in SD-WAN networks, prevent, detect, and respond. The prevent part relies on the stateful firewall capabilities and deep packet inspection to match the traffic against the configured rules or application signatures and take the appropriate action. It also checks the URLs being accessed by users and applications to block the unwanted ones. The detect block enables the operator with real-time view of traffic flows, security analytics, and provides visibility into the traffic to and from the branch. The automated action to mitigate the detected threat is provided by the respond block. Nuage 20.5 release introduced important enhancements to each area of the SD-WAN security features. These include added threat prevention, threat intelligence, and improvements to automated response. In this video, we're going to demonstrate them using the scenario familiar from before. Let's reintroduce our example electric vehicle company, Ion Motors. It has presence in three locations in San Francisco Bay Area. The initial requirements were to have a corporate network and a guest Wi-Fi and secure it using the toolset provided by the VSS. Let's review the security configuration applied in the VSD to address these requirements. For the two L3 networks, the security policy includes rules to filter URLs for certain resources, such as online gaming or explicit content. The layer 7 stateful rules are configured to detect and block certain applications, for example Facebook or Google Drive. The allow rules can record the match count for statistics and further analysis. To see this configuration in action, please check out the previous video. The link is listed in the description below. Now, let's explore the new threat prevention capability introduced in Nuage VNS 20.5 release. Threat prevention is performed as close to the source of traffic as possible. This is done by turning on the embedded intrusion detection and prevention functionality on the NSG. When enabled, all branch traffic is matched against the database of threat signatures and malicious traffic patterns. This database is dynamically updated to include the latest threats. The detected attacks are automatically blocked without interruption of other traffic. We have enabled threat prevention at three sites of Ion Motors Enterprise. Now let's verify the threat categories defined in the IDP profile. The profile is associated to each network, and in our example, we assign it to the guest Wi-Fi network. Next step is to create a virtual firewall policy and add the required threat prevention rules. In our example, we select the Wi-Fi subnets at Palo Alto and San Jose locations, and we're interested to protect the HQ in San Francisco. Now the configuration is ready for a test. Let's imagine there is an intruder connected to the guest Wi-Fi at one of the dealerships trying to attack the customer web portal. The intrusion attempt is detected and blocked by the NSG. Now, let's see what we can find out about the attack in the VSD. Under the guest network, there is a threat prevention analytics tab. Here, we can see the information about this intrusion. The information indicates that the attacker issued suspicious HTTP requests towards the web server, and these requests were denied by the IDP. The intrusion was successfully prevented. In the first video, we looked at different VSS analytics tabs that provide real-time security data 
and visualization for ION Motors SD-WAN network. In NUASH 20.5 release, the platform detect toolset has been enhanced with threat intelligence feature. Now the operator is able to track access to known malicious and harmful IP addresses out on the internet. These IPs include known botnets, phishing sites, spam bots, malware, and other dangerous IPs. Let's see how it's applied to our scenario. Threat intelligence is enabled for Ion Motors Enterprise. Visitors to the dealerships access the internet using the guest Wi-Fi, and we can see several high-risk IPs in the VSS Analytics Threat Intelligence tab. The operator is able to see the risk level and the type of resource, as well as the source or destination that is being at risk. Other VSS tabs include threat intelligence attributes in their filtering selections. The VSS Threat Intelligence module regularly updates the IP reputation database. This data provides additional insight for the real-time analytics already available in the VSS. In the previous video, the automated response to a port scan leveraged the TCA, Threshold Crossing Alarm. It was configured to add the incident source V port to a port group that was referenced in the security policy, allowing us to quarantine that site. In NUAGE VNS 20.5 release, the platform is enhanced with higher granularity and is capable of identifying the suspect's source IP address. Let's see how this is configured in VSD. In the guest Wi-Fi domain of the enterprise, a TCA is configured on the V port in San Jose. Same as before, the TCA is set to identify a port scan event. For the action, there is a new option to generate an alert and add the source IP address to a network macro. While we wait for the port scan to happen, we will check the network macros, which we have none so far. Network macro group is used to group multiple IP addresses together. The security policy applied to the domain is configured to drop any traffic sourced from the network macro group. The port scan event has been detected and there is a corresponding alarm in the enterprise dashboard. The platform identified the suspect's source IP address and created a network macro that is part of the network macro group that we referenced in the security policy. Traffic sourced by this IP address is being dropped now. To confirm this, we can look at the VSS Event Analytics tab, where we can see the TCA event and the ACL Deny events. We can also look at the vPort traffic graph. Since there is only one host behind this vPort, we can clearly see the policy drop action. In this video, we looked at the enhancements to the VSS functionality in the latest release of Nuage VNS platform. We have applied three pillars of SD-WAN security to our example company. The HQ and branch sites were secured using stateful firewall and URL filtering. The intrusion detection and prevention was activated on the NSGs to protect against the latest known threats. The real-time detection and analytics provided by the VSS now includes threat intelligence feature. It enables the operator to detect access to known medium and high-risk IP addresses out on the internet. Lastly, the automated action is able to enforce the quarantine against the culprit's IP address thus enable high-precision response to a security incident. Thank you for checking out this video. Subscribe to this channel to see more demos and updates about Nuage Network's virtualized services platform.